Hi and Style, it's Jessica Seinfeld. We are here talking cocktail party food. So, cocktail parties can be very stressful if you are not organized. So the key for me is to get organized up front before people arrive. Um, I think it through, I think how can I not be running around as much as possible. I like to sit right here on the floor the whole night or as much as possible. So I get everything ready in advance and I put it out for people to eat and I don't like forks and knives and plates to be necessary for this. I like to have food that people can pick and they can talk and they can eat and it's not a whole event. The first thing I do is I pop a ton of popcorn and I put some out and then I have some stored so I can always replenish that. I always serve breadsticks because people love a breadstick. It also looks nice on the table. I serve a flatbread or a cracker and I always have a gluten-free cracker for my gluten-free friends. One little tip that I love so much and I got it from someone who you would not think is a domestic goddess, my friend Andy Cohen from Watch What Happens Live. Um, I've been going to his Christmas party for probably about 10 years and every year he serves clementines on the table and his friends are eating clementines all night long and I just think that is the greatest thing because if you're drinking and it's late, it's a very refreshing little thing to put in your mouth. I serve corn nuts, which for some reason people are crazy about. They're not that good for you, but they're very salty and they're very crunchy and people love them, especially when they're drinking. I serve olives, any kind of olives. Always have a little plate for your pit and always have a little bowl for just people who want to throw gum or they want to throw their clementine peels. Pistachios are excellent. People love it. it, gives people something to do when they're talking and they're eating and they're drinking. Meat, people like to eat a cured meat when they're drinking. And I think it's a good idea because it's a little bit of protein. When people are drinking a lot of alcohol, you end up with less of an issue, if you know what I mean. People feel like they're a little bit more satiated and full, so when they're drinking, don't have any problems. I feel like a lot of people buy three cheeses, four cheeses sometimes, and it's a big mess on a platter. You don't need to go through that kind of effort and figure out what kind of cheese people like. Just buy one big hunk of Parmesan cheese, and a little goes a long way. People love it. It's salty. It's just one of those very, very um, appealing things. Looks good, and it tastes good. So this is just an idea of a bunch of different things that you can do and it should really organize you. So you have a plan, you have ingredients to buy for your next or first cocktail party. For more ideas, go to InStyle.com.